Hi, I'm Tara Bennett, contributing editor for Sci-Fi Wire, and I'm so excited to have the cast of Outlander here. Hello, everybody. Hi there. How are you doing? Very Good. well. You had uh, quite the huge response to your panel yesterday, which was fantastic, and <laughs> everybody got to see the first episode, which was really, really wonderful, see season three. And everyone got to dance. So obviously, you know, you have hmm, kind of a passionate fan base, and a so bit. I asked for questions from fans, and I, I don't think my Twitter has recovered yet. So <laughs> I want to ask a couple of the good questions from, from the fans. Um, first, I want to ask uh, Sam and, and Kat, um, how was it shooting separately for the first part of the season? So much of what you guys have built in terms of your character dynamics have been about your chemistry together, building your story together. This season's very different. Well, I was saying, um, you know, for me, it really wasn't that different because season one, we started with the Claire and Frank story. Season two, we started with the Claire and Frank story. So for me, it was sort of like every season when we start, it's kind of Claire and Frank. Mm -hmm. It was nice to play this, this, you know, the feelings of loss and grief and, and mm -hmm. how somebody forges a new life ahead, even though they've lost, lost something, you know, that means everything to them. So it was, it was an interesting challenge, even though. What she's trying to say it was a relief. That's basically what it means, yeah. <laughs> well, Jamie really gets to tell a story that's completely separate yeah. for, for the first time, mm. really from, from Claire. So yeah. how, how did that yeah. feel for you? Yeah, it was um, it was great. You know, getting these scripts and reading them, I thought this is this is wonderful. It's, you know, get a real chance to, to go to some interesting places. And you know, we see him in this sort of linear story of him coming to terms with uh, you know losing the person he loves, losing his unborn child, and then finding a sort of purpose in life. And he really is uh, kind of living from moment to moment for for many episodes. And slowly finds a way uh, or a reason to, to, to live. And um, it was great, you know, it was really good fun. But then obviously, you know, it's, it's all a build up to, to the reunion with Claire, which was uh, really exciting. Um, so I have a question um, for Tobias. Urban Outlander wants to know, if Frank were to meet Roger, what fatherly words would he impart to him? I probably don't date a time traveler. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's yeah. very good advice. Uh, let's see, we have, uh, for the rank and file, uh, for Richard and for Sophie, um, uh, what do you most admire about your characters? People. <laughs> <laughs> really, 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 really good looking. <laughs> Very good. Um, yeah. No, no, your own character. Oh, my own character. Yeah. yeah. No. Um, I think with Bree, just that kind of boldness that she has to her, just a very hot headedness. She doesn't really care about what people think about her. She just kind of. Does her own I thing. think they're stubborn this as well. I mean, in the dynamic of that relationship, they individually, Roger and Brian, I think, are really stubborn and they have a real need to be right. I like that about them, and I think that yeah. causes uh, endless that conflict stubborn, yeah. between the two <laughs> of them. I think as well. the difference, though, is Which that is Brianna like actually Cousin is Mike. right, and I think that's, you know, yeah, that helps well, a lot. See, that's, that's usually Absolutely. not the case. Everyone in the show is really stubborn. <laughs> <laughs>